Hello, this question is from GATE 2005 exam. It's also a two marks question and the statement says, a line L in a circuit is said to have a struck at zero fault if the line permanently has a logic value zero. Similarly, a line L in a circuit is said to have a struck at one fault if the line permanently has a logic value one. A circuit is said to have multiple struck at fault if one or more lines have a struck at faults. The total number of distinct multiple struck at faults possible in a circuit with n lines is. Okay, so first they have defined what struck at, uh, struck at zero and struck at one means. For example, say there's some line in a circuit and somehow every time the logic value here is zero. That means due to some error, it got grounded. Okay, some internal error in the circuit caused grounding of this wire. Then you'll say it is always struck at zero. And it might act as an input to some gate. Now, first input of this AND gate is always zero. That means its output will also be zero. This might cause a lot of problems. So that's what is struck at zero. And similarly, we have a fault named struck at one. So they're talking about a circuit in which we have a total of n lines. And they are saying, how many multiple struck at faults are possible? That means each of these n lines could have a fault. Now, you might make a mistake in solving such questions because you need to count each and every possibility. First mistake that you might make is you might get 2 raised to the power n as your answer. You'll also find it in options because you'll say each of these n lines could either, either be struck at 0 or struck at 1. So n places and each place has two possibilities. Okay. And the total becomes 2 power n, but this is wrong because you are not counting the third possibility, which is any line might be struck at 0, one possibility, struck at 1, two possibilities, or it might not have any fault. That means actually every line has three possibilities. So this way your answer must be 3 raised to the power n because say these are the n lines and each line has three possibilities now. Total is 3 power n. You multiply all these threes n times and get this answer 3 power n. You'll also find it in options, but this one too is wrong. This is the reason this simple question is for two marks because you might make a mistake here. Now you are actually counting a case where none of these lines have any fault. What is happening? You are saying every line has three possibilities. No fault at all, struck at zero, struck at one. Now in these three power n cases, one case is such where each of these lines don't have any fault, means the circuit is not at all faulty, it's completely working. And what they're asking in question is, the total number of distinct multiple struck at faults. That means you need to find the ways in which a fault can occur. But in this case, where no uh, wire has a struck at fault, there is actually no fault. We don't need to count it. So your answer will be 3 power n minus this one case. Okay. This is your answer. 3 power n minus 1. It is option number B, option B, yeah. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.